Hi everybody! I hope you're all blessed and well in the Lord. I want to start this video by showing you some real cool pictures I took today of the sun. Um, I haven't seen the sun in over a week and it's been really cold and um, our heat went out in our apartment building. Um, our, whole, our whole building <clears throat> was out of heat and um, it's been freezing. I've been hiding under a blanket all week and it's just been really miserable. But finally, um, the sun came out yesterday and they were trying to cover it up. But um, today they did not catch the sun. Um, they were not able to cover it up. So here are some cool pictures uh, to start off with. And um, also, I wanted to mention, I do believe Jesus is still coming soon um the only reason i was talking about moving is because the people in my apartment right next to me and a lot of the other apartment buildings um they all smoke cigarettes and it's been affecting my health and my family and it's just really frustrating because we can't even walk down our hallway without breathing in cigarettes and um you know, nothing against anybody who smokes cigarettes, but I, I, you know, I personally don't like breathing it in. And all right, so next, I want to show you guys. Um, these are what my son normally does. Like, he likes Thomas the Train. Um, this is one of his pictures. He always writes me love letters. I love you. Okay. Another pretty normal picture. Trains. Duck. Okay, that's our family. Let's see, this is what he normally does. Just to show you guys, like, He's a perfectly normal kid. Um, he does very well in school. He still is learning how to write a few numbers, but that's perfectly normal. My daughter did the same thing. Um, she used to write her numbers backwards, but she writes them fine now. Um, the more that she learns. This is another picture. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so, also, I wanted to show you, this is their beginner's Bible. He didn't write any numbers in here. Uh, what's this? This may be a picture. Okay, so no numbers, right? Uh, well, just he wrote 60 cents on the front of here, but that's that's the only numbers. Okay, and then, okay, so this is the Bible I showed you guys last time. Now, <clears throat> what I found interesting is he wrote, this is their Bible, but he wrote, present it to mom from Milwaukee. And he wrote 11 2371. And a lot of people have been saying they see the number 11. And it also looks like a V. V represents fifth age. Also, he wrote 2371. And um, I'm pretty sure he meant, well, I don't know what he meant to write, but that's what he wrote. And then, uh, a sister said that 237 was important. I'm going to show you later um, why 237 is important. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to continue. Then he wrote this. Start to end. Okay, I'm still figuring out what all that it is okay and then also i want to specify 
all these pictures from the New Testament, he didn't write any numbers. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, from the Old Testament. He didn't write any numbers in the Old Testament. Right? So, then you can go to the New Testament. Bear with me, I'm sorry. Um, okay. And the first number he wrote was seven. And seven is definitely a good number um, that represents Jesus. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention. Um, all these numbers are godly numbers. None of, there's no sixes or 666 or anything like that on here. You know, they're all 320. 2017 okay all right so this is the first one um, come let us adore him he wrote one two and he numbered the pages 32 the carpenter shot. 43, they followed the star. 44, the flight into Egypt. 45, Jesus in the temple. 22, the crucifixion. And I'm not sure. This is either 477 or... Yeah, I'm not sure. And it says he is not here, and that talks about the resurrection. So that was very interesting. <clears throat> also, um, 112, he has risen from the dead. And does he okay, and then there's no numbers. Okay, and then... There's another one he marked. The shepherds went back full of joy. They thanked God for all they heard and seen. Luke 2.20. And then, uh, he wrote 1.72. You want to say hi? Hi. Okay. Um, then he wrote... Can I say hi? Hello. Okay, um... Love each other just as I have loved you. I think that's a nine, nine, three. Yeah, it's ninety-three. Then we are more happy when we give than when we receive. And he wrote a bunch of numbers, and this kind of looks like. What is this, Christian? Um, that's ten seven. Maybe it's ten four. Yeah, I don't think he know what he wrote, but it looks kind of like, um... Okay, let's just do this one. He connected them. He connected the dots. I don't know. Let's just go to the next one. We're all different, but we depend on each other. Just like, um, t ten, one, um, like, um, ten, ten hundred and five. Mm-hmm. Christ died for our sins. This like uh six. Okay, seven. so Alright, I got I wanna show you some screenshots now. Okay, so right after I posted that video, remember I mentioned the bees and look, December thirty first, there was five hundred thousand bees and he and he pointed out the number five, if you guys remember that. He said five. Five hundred thousand bees ended up dying right after that guys i mean if this is not from the lord <laughs> this is 1102 th this is definitely from the lord okay so then um okay i want to show a few people awaken sheep which she said my grandson does the exact same thing the lord uses children as well as adults and this is um also biblical it says in the last days you know, he's going to be using children, adults, you know, he's using people to 
sent us messages. Uh, Jennifer Martinez said, wow, what a trip. My fun, my four-year-old has been doing the same thing over and over. I tried to figure it out, but I can't. I'll check it out, too. Maybe the Lord is showing them something. <clears throat> so it's not just my son. And then, uh, Hidden Path said, 2020 means deliverance in Hebrew. 2018 means overthrow in Hebrew. And then Rita 511. Okay, okay, remember, I, I remember I said 237 was important. And <clears throat> she said it means wedding in Jewish. So it means an end time coming together, heaven and earth, that when Jesus gets his bride. So yeah, um, I think this is very encouraging. I think, you know, God wants us to know that, you know, he is still coming. Come he's trying to encourage us. And, um, Let's go. Come on. Let's also, go. Sarah S. wrote Come that, on. uh, oh, her son also had a dream. Um, she said, yeah, he saw numbers in his dream, so... <clears throat> she said she believed this is what her son Whoa, said the meaning yeah. was um, the angels were nine feet and the width of the rooms in the heavens and the height of the throne seats and he used ones and threes in the drawings like one 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 times three and then yeah so one 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 and then times three 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 is the trinity so yeah god is definitely trying to get a message out and also and stephen people? carson said he keeps seeing four and six i also um have been seeing four and 144 a lot um and my son yeah he specially marked that one so my oven timer just went off for chicken it was 1:44 a.m. in the morning okay and these are my original dreams um this is so old but this is what I wrote down a while ago um, here's 11 11 again and that's when I had my very first like rapture experience but it was I didn't see anything I um, that's the video where I was talking about where I, I felt it i felt the winds and the, um i heard reapers and um yeah i don't know guys it's we are definitely in the season um jesus is coming soon so keep looking up guys our redemption draws nigh god bless you all here is a word from the Lord. I hope you all enjoy. God bless. Second Peter 3. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But... 
come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware, lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace, and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen.